Hello, this is Gio, and this is my desktop right here, and what I want to be doing today is to add a new backup hard drive. And so I went ahead and purchased a, a two terabyte Western Digital uh, desktop hard drive. This is a three and a half inch hard drive, which is compatible with my HP right here. And this uh, existing HP uh, Envy is has an existing one terabyte hard drive but I do want a backup hard drive so I went ahead and purchased this hard drive and one additional thing that I needed before I install it was the SATA cable now some of these hard drives do come with their own SATA cable this is basically the data cable that attaches to the hard drive and the motherboard there's also a power cable but I also uh, already have that in there so make sure you check the box before you uh, when you're purchasing your hard drive and make sure whether it has a SATA cable or not these, these things can be a little bit spendy uh, this one was about 20 bucks so uh, it's good to double check that but I'll show you how to install this and we'll start next okay so the first thing you want to do is just turn off your computer uh, make sure it powers down completely and then go back into the back and just remove unplug the power now it does have a little light here and you kind of want to have uh, the light eventually turn off if you do have a light and everything just kind of power down there's some residual energy in there and you don't want to open up the box until everything's kind of powered down and the electricity is off and for extra measure I like to just unplug all the cables uh, just to make sure there's no residual energy left in these cables because one of the things that will damage existing and new hard drives is uh, static electricity and so you want to make sure you are properly grounded that you're wearing some nice rubber tennis shoes so that you won't cause any discharge of a static electricity yourself so just make sure that everything is unplugged and that your system is powered down completely. Okay, so with the light off, now it's a matter of just opening up your 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 desktop. And most of them, uh, most of the modern ones are pretty simple. You could either have a little one little screw here. In my case, sometimes there's a couple of screws that you have to use a Phillips to open up. Uh, usually, it's just a side panel. Sometimes the side panel and the top come off, etc. But for this case, I just have to twist this by hand. It's loose, it doesn't come all the way off, and just pull this out just like that. And that's the inside of the computer. Okay, so this is the inside of the computer. Basically, what you have is like a, some kind of power supply. The motherboard is all the, uh, the, the circuit board in back there. There's some slots, there's some uh, kind of memory chips, fans, etc. But here and here, you have these kind of little slots. This is actually your CD, um, DVD uh, player. And this is the existing mother, or excuse me, this is the existing hard drive, uh, the system hard drive uh, in this kind of case here. Now, this little um, compartment can be anywhere, any configuration. It could be down on the bottom and uh, the hard drive oriented in different directions. It all depends on your computer. But the first thing you want to look at is, okay, so here is the new hard drive that we're going to stick in. And obviously, we can't just stick it in into this compartment. And so in this case, and in most cases, you have to get this compartment out. And so the way for this particular computer, I have to remove these two screws. And there's a little button here that I could release a tab and lift and remove so I will do that next okay so I removed these two screws and I just kind of hold it securely push the little tab and it should just pop right out and so here the compartment the hard drive compartment and the existing system hard drive is coming out I don't necessarily want to remove the cables but what we have here this is the SATA cable so this would be the data cable which I just recently purchased here so the new SATA, and then you have the uh, you have the SATA headers, which is let's see, you can see those. So kind of way in back, that's kind of where the data cables plug into the motherboard. Uh, in my case, there's one white, one yellow, 
and uh, blue and a green. And so I'm just going to select one of those to, for my new hard drive. This is the power uh, uh, SATA cable and that goes to your power supply and in my particular case the system hard drive actually has a little splitter so I'm going to use this to, uh, this particular plug to plug in to my hard drive. But the first thing is I want to slip in the new hard drive and then the hard drive comes with in this, uh, some screws so I'll just put one two screws on all four sides so I'm going to orient it in a very similar way that the existing one is with metal kind of plate facing this way you want to do this very carefully not damaging the new drive or more importantly your your existing system hard drive and just lower it so it doesn't just clunk on the bottom. And then try to line up the little holes, which I see right there, and take your new screws. And in this case, they're Phillips. So I'll just stick in the new, new screws. Okay, so I've already uh, put in the four screws, two on that side, two on the other, and the new hard drive is secure. And then I'm just going to take the power supply SATA cable here. And now they, there is a little notch. I don't know if you could see here. There's a notch for the data cable and also the power cable. So they only go in one way, and so the, it's oriented correctly. So I'm just going to plug in the power, and it has a little clip here. Okay, and so for the data cable, I want to go ahead and look at the notch again and plug it in. Just like that. Similar orientation as the original. And then take the motherboard end, and I'm not sure if you can see through all these wires, but you have these little colored ports, these little headers. And so there's a SATA 3 uh, and a SATA 1. I think I'll just go ahead and plug it into the SATA 3. It doesn't really matter. It's kind of a plug and play. They'll recognize once you plug this in, I will have to, hold on, put down the camera real quickly. And use two hands. And go ahead and plug this in. Make sure it's in there. Be careful not to damage the, the motherboard and so it is in there securely. Okay, now with all the cables in, again, it's more of a plug and play. That's all you really have to do with the hardware. You just carefully put back in the box and then you want to just slide this back in place. In this case it clips. I'm going to replace the screws that hold in the box. And this is about all you need to do. Now you have to sh uh, shut off uh, or shut the case. You have to plug in uh, all your plug plugs again. But once this is done, your computer will recognize the hard drive. Now you might have to initialate and, and, and initial and format the drive, but your computer will give you instructions how to do that. So that's basically all it takes to install a new hard drive. Uh, now this is the backup hard drive. If you were replacing a system hard drive, then you would have a lot more to do. You'd have to install your, your operating system and all your programs, but with just a backup, your operating drive knows what to do and they'll find it and you're set. So I hope this helps you out uh, for your next project and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.